Hello, welcome in and thanks for stopping by. I hope you're doing well today. Lately I've been really enjoying Minecraft, so I thought we'd do another playthrough, make some good relaxing sounds along the way, and see how far we can get. So I'm going to start a new world here, and let's get into it. Thanks for stopping by, and I hope you enjoy your stay. Alright, so we've just spawned in. So let's take a look around. Alright, so we've just spawned in here. The new fresh world. Let's just take kind of our surroundings in. Alright, we're in a birch forest, it looks like. I see um, some oak trees that direction. A beach there, an island off there. Oh, some sand, some turtles. Alright, so let's start. I think my goal today, since this is just our first steps in a new world, will be to make some kind of house, some kind of shelter. Maybe do a little bit of mining, set up uh, some kind of food source, and we'll see how far we get with that. But first, We'll need a trusty wooden pick. All right. All right, and there's some stone right over here that I can grab for our first uh, set of stone tools. Let's do a axe, a shovel, a pick. I'll just go with those three. Actually, no, I'll make a hoe as well. All right. We'll just cut down some trees, get some wood, you know. That kind of thing. Oh, and hey, is this a little cave? Not really. Kind of. I thought that might have uh, led deep underground, but that's fine. I'm not quite ready to mine yet anyway. We'll just replant this sugar cane. We'll need some later on, so... Okay, a couple of trees, I'll take this tree down also. <laughs> I didn't know they could grow in gravel, maybe they can't, <laughs> maybe that's just a world generation uh, glitch. Just see if there's any animals around, or if I should plant some wheat to get some food. Oh, whoa. Oh, well, there's a ravine, and there's some iron. I might make use of this. get some more sugar cane as well. We'll just replant this. Uh, 
Oh, and there's a bee. Look at that. Oh, and some sugar cane here that's just sitting around. Oh, wow. Look at this. There's a lot of sheep here. And I saw some exposed coal, so we can go grab some of that. And uh, I'm sorry for what I'm about to do. That'll be two wool. I'm going to need one more for a bed. And that's also some mutton. Some uh, easy, easy food there. coal vein. How much coal? 21. Not bad. Not bad at all. Oh, and there's more. I think just a few. Yeah, just another three, but hey, that is good with me. I'll take it. All right. Try and just get some more uh, seeds. Oh, and there's another cave, maybe? There's some magma there. That seems awfully close to the surface. Oh, there's some fish. I could hunt some fish. Dolphin, look at that. All right. Oh, let's get some water. Oh, I didn't stay at the top enough. Is a dolphin making it so those fish that I killed weren't moving to the top? Because they were like bouncing up and down there. Or is that just something that happens with the water? Alright, I got ten raw cod. So, between the cod and the mutton, I'll probably be good for food for day one here. So what I'll do is continue to just chop down some perch. This is the top piece of wood. Oh no, okay, well. There we go. And how much do I have? I've got 39. Maybe we'll do a little bit more. We probably won't need that much, but you always need wood in Minecraft for tools, for fuel, blocks, crafting tables, torches, so it doesn't hurt to just get a good amount to start. And there's a dark oak forest that I see just out uh, in the horizon a little bit. All right. It's 
so where should I build my first house? That's the question. Let me just run around and see if I can find a spot that I like. Here's the sheep. Oh, and here, here's a little river, so we could do a nice kind of riverside house. I like that idea a lot, so we'll do that. Not to mention it's getting dark, so I should start building something at least. I'll just fill in this little hole in the ground. All right. Actually, for the first night, what I can do is just make a little shelter uh, in this cave right here. So what I'll do is I'll make a super quick shelter. I'll just slap a bed down and sleep before any mobs show up that way. I'll have more daylight to work with. Alright, so my house, let's see. What should I do with the dimensions? Maybe I can do like one. That's seven by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And yeah, so our first house will be a seven by seven um, house. So not terribly big, but reasonably sized, I'll say. And what I'll do is I'll also do some pillars in the corners. And for the floor, I'll use birch planks. Make a few more birch planks. I'll put a door there. And I'll put a door here. A little bit more birch. A couple doors. I'll make a furnace. As well, let's get some torches going. No, I like that. I was wondering, should it be more like inlaid with the um, inside, or should the door be like closer to the outside? But I like it on the inside a little bit. We'll just turn all of these into planks here. I can always get more. There's birch literally everywhere here, so it's not like it's a uh, scarce material. And I meant, <laughs> whoops, I meant to just make uh, one thing of stairs. I accidentally made a ton of them, but we can use them for the roof, so that'll work out. Let me cook up some sand, because what I'm thinking is 
I'll make some windows there, and that'll look really nice and give me a bit of natural light and let me look out into the world to see if there's any danger or anything like that. Oh, gotta breathe. Whoops. Alright. And some clay too. Because we can make some nice little decorations with that. I'll just extend the land into the river just a little bit. And I'll just grab some sand from over here. Alright. Alright, so for the roof. Let's do a thing. And by a thing, I mean what I like to do is to add a little bit more depth to the buildings I build. I like to extend the corners out by one. So I'll show you. So I'll do a pillar there, just like the, in uh, the interior corner there. I'll just maybe push this back a little bit. have a little bit more room. All right. There goes my shovel, but I'm in enough room. And then so what I like to do is build the roof from the corner that sticks out a little bit. And I find it adds a lot of depth to uh, your buildings, especially ones that are kind of square, like this house is, what being seven by seven. Look at that squid. Squid's always doing squid business? I don't know. They're always getting beached. It sounds like a skill issue to me. Was that birch tree <laughs> growing out of this? It looks like it. I'll just fill that in. Gonna need more birch wood here. Oh, I hope this house comes out good. It's looking a little strange in its unfinished state, but... I just need to fill in um, the walls and then that'll that'll look a lot better when these walls are filled in so let me just do that how much uh, glass do I have I'll do yeah I'll just do that so we'll get a lot of natural light in here
I'm wondering if this roof would look nicer as slabs instead of staircases. It would be a little bit less steep. Although I made so many staircases. I'll continue with the staircases. If it really looks weird, then I'll swap it out for slabs. staircases again. Oops. Oh, I should probably cook that uh, mutton and codge because I'm running a little bit low on health here. Alright, alright. Mostly done, and truth be told, I'm not really worried about anything attacking me from above the roof. So even if the roof isn't fully finished, that's okay. And... Alright. One of those, and one of those, and I'll probably get that piece of roof all placed in in just one sec. Because now we can move the bed actually inside the house. All right. It's not the best house. Um ever built in Minecraft, but I'll take it. It's decent. At least for something that I just made right in the very beginning of my playthrough. It'll definitely work. Alright. Alright. That'll give us some more health to work with. And I'll just take down another tree or two. Alright, and I'll take down this one. Oh, look, pumpkins. That's convenient. I'll just grab some, and we can start a little pumpkin farm. And hey, I heard a chicken. Alright, hello chickens, hello. Oh no, the other one's walking away. Hello chickens. Alright, so we can uh, start a little chicken farm. What is this? Oh, terracotta. Huh. 
I didn't think terracotta could spawn in this biome. Well, the more you know. If I get more wood types, I might replace the roof with, like, oak or something. I feel that it's a little bit monotone in color, so we could definitely spice it up a little bit. I was going to say spruce it up a little bit. But I want to oak it up a little bit. Okay. Let me breed a couple of these, because why not? I'll make another crafting table. Oh no, chicken. Where are you going? Get back over here. And let me just... Make some fence. Okay. chicken pen. So we'll be collecting eggs and uh, chicken stuff soon. And that'll be really good for food, actually. And I can grow some pumpkins as well. And I think you can make pumpkin pie with sugar, eggs, and pumpkins, so maybe we'll make some pumpkin pie. Needless to say, though, I'll need to get more uh, wood to finish my roof still. All right. All right, they'll be good there. Let me get a little bit more stone also. And put some torches up. Oh, good find, more coal, I'll take it. All right. I'm just going to have a little bit of my coffee here. All right. A good amount of coal. And maybe I'll just kind of staircase my way down a little bit. Turn this into a kind of mine entrance. Or maybe not. Oh, oh, whoa. Look at this. Underground uh, ravine cavern of some sort. If I place a door, then I can get a little air pocket. Pro Minecraft strats. All right. Um, so I don't know if this will be really a viable entrance to a mine, but I could definitely explore the underwater section a little bit. Let me, though, finish filling out the roof. And the walls, too, while we're at it. Alright, let's 
get a staircase there. All right. What I'll do is there we go. That way it sticks out a little bit. Make the Viking house a little bit, and I'll give it a little cap there. Whoops, some falling damage. And then this side also needs a little bit. Oops. And just like the other one, I'll make... Let me actually make some slabs. And let me get on top of the roof here. All right, all right, here we go. So, bada bing, bada boom, there we go. And now our roof is looking more complete. Admittedly, it looks a little bit silly with the uh, pieces jutting out, but that's all right. It's just uh, a little bit of flair, we'll call it. Also, if I get a little bit more decorations and that kind of thing, it'll look less strange. So let's do that. Let's get some decorations going. How do I do a trapdoor again? There we go. So I'll do a few trapdoors. And I'll also do something like this. Get some fences there for light. Hmm. I like the one on top, maybe not the extra one, so. Maybe if I reverse this. Alright, let's try that really quick. Okay. The same on the other side. Oh, I know why that looks weird too. We need a little bit more uh, staircases. Okay, so. Dang it. Or not there, but there. And there, now. That looks a little bit better. How does that look? Is that too much? I think that might be a little bit too much. Yeah, there we go. But then what I'll do also for the sides is... There we go. Now that looks like window sills, or uh, what do you call them? Not window sills, blinds. I can't think of the word, <laughs> but you know what I mean. Oh, it looks like shutters. That's the word I'm thinking of.
right, yeah, that looks pretty good. Maybe should I do... No, that's silly. Let's sleep for the night again. And... Let me get a real chest down. I don't know, I said real. Not like there's fake chests. But... Let me just drop off some stuff. Okay. some clay. I'll throw my trapdoors in the chest. Same with the saplings and the terracotta. And the eggs. Hey, some black tie. Oh, there's a skeleton. Look at that. Okay. I'm gonna get you. Alright. Goodbye, skeleton. Okay, so I can do a flower pot. And that'll give us a little bit of... Uh, a little bit of flair. A little bit of decoration. So let's... I'll grab some of these uh, rose bushes. Oh, and there's uh, some poppies and some dandelion as well. All right, and let me. Feed my chickens some more seeds. What I'll do is I'll cut down some trees here and I'll plant some of these seeds. I'll start a little farm across the riverbed. Okay. This little place is going to be pretty cozy when we're done with it. Let me make another shovel really quick. I'll throw a poppy in there. And a rose bush over there. And another one right there. And I'll do another flower pot. This one I'll do No, not there. Do a little slap by the window. Alright, so I'm gonna want another shovel, another pick, another axe. So we'll just refresh our tools. I'll toss the trusty wooden pick and um more eggs can go in the chest, yeah.
Hello, squid. Let's see, what could I do to make this better? I use stone bricks instead of cobblestone for this little bridge here. Let's cook up some cobblestone. I'll mine a little bit more. Oh, that's right. <laughs> right? Yes, okay. So what I'll do is more stairs. <laughs> we'll always need stairs, I guess. Hello, Enderman. I'll put the um, stone brick right there. And I'll have a nice little bridge. Oops. The stone brick should be here. Stone that can be more stone brick. Right there, let's see. Just push back this hill a little bit more. reason I'm doing this uh, now is because I wanted to fill in a little bit of land by the bridge with dirt and I got <laughs> a little sidetracked, a little carried away. But hey, is it really Minecraft if you're not <laughs> getting sidetracked? Push back this a little bit, just so you can see the whole house, and it's not cut off by the hill. I'll just replace a little bit of that with dirt, so we don't see any exposed stone there. Yeah, so what I'll do is just place a little bit of dirt here. Oh, 
Alright, and... There we go. Nice little bridge. Although I might swap out the birch logs going horizontal for something else. I feel maybe another wood type would be good to use there. Like oak or spruce. I'll get some torches up on the bridge for good measure. And did I did my shovel break? It might have broken. I'll plant some wheat and some sugar cane. I'll do a couple more. All right. Now we're in business. Okay, I'd say our starter house is about done. Let me get some more food, though. It'll be a little bit before uh, I'll have enough bread to just have endless bread. Oh, another skeleton. Okay. It was like stuck in the tree there. All right. Oh, Minecraft never change. All right. There's another skeleton there. All right. Hello, chickens. Our chicken army is growing. We need more color in here. So I'm going to dye the bed black. Oh, that looks nice. I like that. Throw some more salmon in there. Grab some more sticks for torches. All right. I remember there was a ravine in this direction that we saw some exposed iron in. So I'm gonna go just over here really quick and I'll go grab some iron and see what else we can find. Hey, there's, I think that's the sugar cane I replanted earlier. So we'll just go get some of this, get a head start for the paper that we'll need for uh, an enchanting table. And if we do pumpkin pie, of course. Speaking of which, I could probably make some. And that'll be, I think, eggs, sugar, and pumpkins, which I've got all three of, so. I'll do that. Let's see, where was the ravine I had seen earlier? Might have been this direction. And let's see, there's uh, some turtles. 
I could maybe make a turtle helmet. If I can uh, make a little turtle farm and get them hatching. Here we go. Here we go. This is what we saw earlier. So I'm just going to go down. Hey, there's three iron, at least. Nice. Oh, wow. Big iron vein. I'll take it. There's also a zombie. action going. What oh, Y level am I at? 21. Nice uh, shortcut, honestly. Down to a deeper cave system. Down to deep slate, even. Alright, let me just get some more torches up here. Some gold. some lapis. There's like two or three ravines connected to one another, I think. Alright. First order of business, though, is iron. We're gonna need iron tools, iron armor, a shield, a bucket or two, an anvil, so, needless to say, we'll need plenty of it. And now that I got a little bit more light, I can see what these uh, enemies are up to. Alright. Is this a new biome? Like a flooded cave or something? Well, what did I do? I accidentally reloaded all chunks. Now we're just in the birch forest still. Some iron down there. Let's see. Maybe I'll kind of staircase my way down. splashing around. That's really dangerous. I kind of don't want to go down there. I'll bridge my way across here and see if there's any exposed iron up here. There's plenty of enemies here. Maybe this is where they've all been spawning just beneath me. are going to fight each other now. Nice. Alright. What was that? There's like grass down there. Look at that. Alright. Just get a few more torches up. Come on, skeleton, shoot one of them. <laughs> More creeper explosion ASMR. Alright. 
Thankfully, we're not on hardcore mode, so I'm a lot less scared of dying now. If you tuned into my hardcore playthrough, unfortunately, it ended it ended quite abruptly. I died in the second episode to a creeper explosion. F. So I want to get some revenge anyway. Show those creepers who's boss. But yeah, we've gotten uh, 35 iron so far. Let's see, I don't have any more uh, wood for sticks or anything. So no more torches, unfortunately, in this little mining trip, but it's been uh, pretty fruitful, honestly. We've gotten quite a bit of iron. Well, there's even more here, although... Let me just... enough for an entire tool and armor set. And hey, there's a glow squid. Might as well get some glow squid ink. Is there anything over here that I can see? Some lapis. Oh, there's more iron, but it's underwater here. I'll grab one and then swim back up. Oh, there's four glow squids there. Look at that. If I mine up, can I breathe? Oh, look at that. Okay. Yes, I can, and... Well, I broke the uh, air pocket. If I replace that... Sweet, all right. Now I can get all this iron and mine it as if I was not underwater. Okay, let's see how much. 52 iron. Not bad at all. It looks like a lot of the enemies that were here have despawned. So I'll grab this too. For a second there, I thought I heard a creeper, but it was my pickaxe breaking. Alright, well, unfortunately, that's it for my pickaxe, so... I can just uh, swim all the way back up to the surface from here, it looks like, so... I'm gonna do that. What a great find, this little ravine here. Totally unexpected. But really... Oh. Creeper. I 
totally unexpected, but uh, really good. I mean, I almost got a whole stack of iron there. Just digging around uh, the surface, kind of. Alright, good thing I got a bunch of torches up. And the house is bright, easy to spot. Alright, good night, all the zombies and monsters. Alright, so we'll have our iron cooking in the furnace. I'll make another couple furnaces too. crafting table in the corner, and there we go. An iron pick. Not bad at all. I'll just set this here. And there we have it. There is our first piece of armor. Everybody, thanks for hanging out. I think this is a good natural stopping point. We've got our house made, a little bit of a farm going. We got some iron. So we've definitely taken our first steps in this world. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. And if you got all the way up to this part in the video, please consider leaving a like and subscribing for more content like this in the future. With that being said, I'm going to head out for now, but have a great rest of your night, everybody. Take care. I'll see you in the next video.